Emma. Look at these hammers, baby. Look at these hammers. Look at these hammers. All right, what we doing is we fishing down the shoreline of Lake Pontchartrain. We've been having birds the whole way from from the trestle all the way to Seabrook and we're just working the shoreline look at these two just tanks we're obviously looking for birds but we are blind casting also incredible that's what's up right there big hammers So we're not, it's a little bit different style of bird fishing here. It's not like we're on this big monster flock of birds. There's just birds hovering this entire shoreline. And we'll go 20 minutes without a bite. And then if we happen to have one, just, just one, all it's gotta be is one swoop down in our casted range, you're gonna get on like a five or 10 minute flurry where you're gonna hit them, bam, 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 bam fast as you can and you want to hurry up and get that lure right back out there it's little must be little groups little schools they'll come up and run one or two shrimp oh, there he was. they'll come up and run a shrimp or two the birds will see it the birds will help tell you where that little school is Monster trout and cats mixed in. Look at this. That's crazy. Freshwater cat, at least. Look at that. Bird. You saw that bird in my background? I don't know if you saw that bird dive right in the background. That's what you're looking for right there. That cat was a. That was very, uh uncommon this this is what is common right here big beautiful trout one little bird jumped down and what we got going on is it's just a tremendous school of white shrimp look at this this is what we're looking for beautiful specks Tre tremendous school of white shrimp right here in this area and then birds are just going to help tell you where to cast. Now, if you don't see the birds, we're just blind casting. You could just simply get in five to 10 foot of water down this whole shoreline and troll. That would be extremely effective also. Just to locate them, because these fish are very consolidated. When you hit one, you're gonna hit several in a row. Let's 
several in a row. And then once you lose that school, it's going to take you a minute to relocate it. But how do you, you just can't complain on the size of these fish, man. These are, these are hammers. John started off the morning with one almost five pounds. Just awesome stuff. You can throw jerk baits here. I got a top water tied on just in case we get on a real flurry. But it's, it's kind of deep here. It's about six, seven, six foot I'm throwing in. The matrix meadow would have some effectiveness. That's a good one. Not the monster that we started the morning off with, but a good one. And again, like I discussed at a previous Noxide TV. I'm sticking with the glow right now because this is one of the best white shrimp imitations and that is 100% what we're trying to mimic here is these white shrimp. All right, you can see a couple birds just grouped up right here. So we're gonna milk this area for a minute. They're definitely hovering. Oh, there he was. They're definitely hovering over something. Hovering for a reason. I know the reason. It's a set of white shrimp skip around with a big speckle belly underneath it, I'm sure. first little pop and I just started slow rolling it in and these fish are so beautiful my little glow matrix which I do love was starting to come apart as these big mules were tearing it up I switched to the mega when I like we went we talked about this a lot this year when you're on fish of this caliber that mega is a bad dude much more durable it's a bigger profile bait, and it could really put some damage in the boat with some big girls. All right, this area from here, you know, we're fishing that whole Haynes Boulevard shoreline. This area, every December, from anywhere from November to January, the last several years, this has been like the place to be. Sometimes we're catching them on some of them old camp uh, pier pilings. You got some right here. You got some down by Lincoln Beach. Sometimes these birds are all the way towards Seabrook. Sometimes you can just troll this whole shoreline, be very effective. You know, just troll it just like you do the trestle. Just come down here. In the last several years, these white shrimp, this is where they want to be, is just down this shoreline. And some, you just gotta figure out where that section is that these fish are hanging out. Does it get any prettier than that? Simba, that fish is bigger than you. That fish is bigger than you, buddy, buddy. Oh, look at that. He's as long as you, Simba. Mm -hmm. As long as you. Mega Matrix. Beauty. Hold on, Simba. We're going to tag and release this one. Got plenty already today. and release in here. Don't need him, Simba. Got the blue tag in there. Make sure that you recapture that fish. There he goes down the sea. Want a prize from matrixshad.com. Give you a little hint. What that one likes to eat is the Mega Matrix. Here, baby. Solid three pounder on the 
Omega. Omega's catching some monsters now. Tag another one here. I don't like to keep too many big ones. Unfortunately, today, it's all monsters. But let's go ahead and let this one go. So if you want to keep any fish today, you can... Uh, these are the ones that I call uh, trout almondine trout. This is what you make your almondine out of. But you want to keep any fish today, they're so big, you're going to have to keep a few big ones. But we got plenty enough, so I'm going to release several of them. I'm going to go ahead and leave, leave, uh, load the tagger with another blue tag. And these blue tags have a phone number on them. You call that number if you recapture a fish, and you will, you know, take a picture of the tag, take a picture of the fish, and you'll win a prize from matrixshad.com. It's just been an epic, epic morning of these monster trout. Every year now, when we get into that December, January time frame, this whole shoreline on your warmer winter days, some cool, amazing, phenomenal things I have seen in the last several years down this shoreline that runs all the way to New Orleans. We're just finding them birds right now. They're telling us where them big monster trout are located. Oh boy. That was a hook set there. I laid the wood to that one. I fell. Boom! Be a trout, baby. Be a trout. He is. He's he's legit. I think. I think this one's legit. Oh, don't be another blue cat. What are you? Jack the blue catish. No trout. He ain't as big as I thought. I got him. He's in the, I got him in the in the belly. That's why he's so uh, fighting so hard. Holy moly! Holy. Let me see how much damage that hook did. If he looks all right, I'm going to release this one. Ooh, I'm probably going to keep this fish. I'll tell you why. He got foul hooked right there. Good chance he won't survive anyway. But, I mean, what a, what a phenomenal fish. Pups. Don't you see pups? That's what y'all like to see, huh, buddy? Whoa! Trying to snip his tail. Again, that mega matrix. So this is what I'm going to stay with the rest of the day. Bad, bad dude right here. This is probably one of our most neglected lures. You know, if you're catching fish like this, this is probably the starting size, which is a solid... 15 16 inch that's your that's where they're beginning i would bump it to the, the mega like no doubt when they're starting at 16 inches go to the mega you're looking for a better opportunity like the one john caught this morning that you know running up in that four to five pound class you're gonna just give yourself better odds when you're fishing that four inch bait like this right here that one john caught Early this morning, I was a stud. Here, look, let's show you guys this first hand. All right, so there's four birds right there. Don't take many. They're hovering. If they would just dive down just one time and tell us everything we need to know. At least I feel pretty confident in this little zone right here. You know, they're, they're up there for a reason. They, they are, their vision's 100 million times better than ours. They saw something, they just saw something that told them that a shrimp was about to jump out the water. And what happens is in, in order for the shrimp to just want to start skipping, that means a little school of trout is messing with a little school of shrimp. Now these birds haven't swooped down to tell me exactly where to cast, but we're going to just fan cast this zone 
right now. And like I said, if you're lucky enough to have one dive right in your casting distance, you're going to rip off five, ten fish in a row a lot of times. Just hovering now. It's hitting like your typical bird fishing where it's every cast for an hour. But if you pay close attention to where they're hovering, these aren't typical bird fish either. These are legit two to four pounders. Totally awesome fish. But Poncha Train's known for. I mean, look at that stud. This is a this is a good one here. This is a good one. It's a tank, baby. Solid three pound chunk. Solid three pound winter chunk. Winter birds, winter chunks. On the Mega Matrix. I mean, that's a toad. Toad, I'm trying to trying to beat the one John caught this morning. Might have been one of John's biggest trout ever. That's my goal is to try to beat the one he caught this morning, which was an absolute mammoth. Especially for nowadays when I'm four or five pounders uh, about as big as they get. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is this one going to beat John? This one pulled back a little, boy, and I don't think it's a catfish like earlier. Uh-oh. Might be a catfish. Hold on. Might be a catfish. I don't know. I don't know what this is. We've already caught a couple blue cats. Now this is acting more like a trout now. Not gonna be John, but another stud. When y'all, when you, when you find fish of this class under birds, you can just throw in these fish on the floor so you can hurry up and get another one back out. Hey, there's not many places in the country you can do this with speckle trout, guys. Especially that size of fish. Especially that size of fish. There he goes again. I'm going to go ahead and end it on this episode. Look at him splash. Look at that head shaker, baby. That's the most beautiful sight in Louisiana. A big, that's why they call them yellow mouse right there. They come up to the top. They shake that head. But the mouth open. I'll show you here. And that all you see is bright yellow. Right in your face. Yellow, 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 yellow. Yellow mouth. That is where that term comes from, if you're ever wondering. It's that epic head shake on a big sow trout like that right there. That we get down here on the Gulf Coast. And that's what them trout want to do, is they're just trying to shake that hook. But I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. That was pretty much everything we did, we're doing today and why we're doing it in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed this one. I know I'm having a blast. I'm going to try to go ahead and kill the camera so we can have some fun without having to worry about the camera. You want to... Oh, there goes some birds. Look at them. Yeah, we'll kill it on this cast here. But look, you want to get your hands on some mat uh, Mega Matrix. Boom, that's Limbo today. Color, not too, too important when you're fishing birds. Like I did say earlier, I am a big fan of glow if you're trying to mimic a white shrub. Get your hands on that. Make sure that you subscribe to the monthly bait box. Oh, <laughs> Still with it. That's another thing I like about the Mega. It's so much more, it's so durable that you can have one just totally peel off like that and still, uh, it don't pull the tail down nearly as bad. You can go through a lot more fish on one lure. But you wanna get your hands on this, the monthly bait box. Make sure you subscribe to that, no doubt. Gonna be putting some Megas in there. You'll have some glow regular matrix in there make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel as we do all the time we, we just always have the camera with us to flip it on when you see epic stuff like we're doing right now catching two to four pound almost a, john had one earlier almost five pound trout fishing the poncha train basin under the birds in the dead of the winter 
catching monster, monster trout. It's totally awesome day. So subscribe to everything, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Let's finish this cache right here before we close it out, just in case we get one more. Come make sure you come out here, do this. This kind of fishing is gonna be good on your warmer winter days. Your colder winter days hit the man-made canals after the front. This is more pre-front conditions. You can see these clouds super thick in the sky. We got, we got a lot of rain on its way. Me and John snuck out here early. So, all right, guys, that's it. We're out of here. Mega Matrix, also the Glow Matrix. Hope you enjoyed this one. Until next time, good fishing.